This bar continues to show you how to resolve your GPU memory is full in DaVinci Resolve 18 or other versions. So your GPU memory is full and notification of working with resolution content in DaVinci Resolve on your Windows 11 or 10 computer. Now this is what you need to do. This basically means that your VRAM and your graphic card is being used. You have met your graphic card's limitation. The full error message that is displayed when this issue occurs reads as follows. So your GPU memory is full. So this is the thing you have to do. So unlike uh, other video editors that are having a CPU, DaVinci Resolve is GPU intensive because the GPU does all the image processing, heavy lifting as per black magic design. So the application is a discrete GPU with a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you want to use Fusion, you will want to keep your PC with 32 gigabytes on RAM. And in both cases, a minimum of 2 gigabytes of VRAM. 4 if and above is preferable. So these are some ideas. So to check how many uh, VRAMs you have, just go here, right click Task Manager, then go to Performance, and basically as you can see, I have six gigabytes of VRAM. So they recommend four or more, I have six, so I would be able to use it without any problems. So you can see here. Now, if you want to change your GPU configuration settings, what you have to do is go to Preferences, System, Memory and GPU, GPU Configuration and GPU Processing Mode. Uncheck Auto and select OpenCL instead of CUDA. On the other hand, if you get your GPU memory is full, even though the compute compatibility is greater than 3.5, then in this case, you need to select CUDA instead of OpenCL. And in addition, uncheck the Auto option for GPU selection. Then manually select available NVIDIA card on your system. Once done, restart your PC. The next, the next thing to do is to clear GPU CPU cache memory. This is a general fix that should work for PC gamers, as well as that may account for the GPU memory full issue while gaming. So you can do the following. Close and relaunch the game or app. In addition, open Task Manager, click Memory. In the Processes section, go to the list of running programs for most RM hungry. So basically, here if you click on Memory, it's going to show you the ones that use the most uh, RAM. So as you can see at the moment, Google Chrome is using 3 GB of RAM. And to close it, you will just go to right click and end task. The next is to turn off the PC, unplug the power, and all cache and RAM in the system will be cleared. Wait for around 30 60 seconds and then plug back the power cord and boot your system. Another way is to disable and enable the GPU in Device Manager to clear memory cache on your Windows 11 or 10. Another thing you can do is reduce the timeline resolution. This solution requires you to reduce the timeline settings to prevent DaVinci Resolve from using too much RAM and VRAM on your PC, consequently throwing the error. So to do that, click on Settings icon Cogwheel in the bottom right corner and open the Project Settings. Go to Master Settings, Timeline Resolution and just select a lower video resolution from the drop down menu. Try to reduce the timeline resolution to Full HD or HD before delivering. You can render it in 4K of course. And then click Save. Another way is to update your GPU driver. So for example if you have NVIDIA you just have to download NVIDIA GeForce Experience then you want to open the app drivers as you can see i have new ones i need to download you will just press on download and that would be it another way is to increase or disable paging file now although you may think there is enough memory in computer to handle all the programs it runs you can still exceed that limit which may cause program errors and system crashes so it's not the most recommended one but if you want to do it press windows key r in the run dollar type in sysdl.cpl, hit enter, then go to advanced tab, then settings in the performance section, performance options, click the advanced tab, select change button under virtual memory, 
uncheck automatically manage, select your system drive, select the radio button for no paging file, click set, click yes, click ok and then restart Windows. And the final thing to do is just to update or roll back DaVinci Resolve. If the issue persists after you have exhausted the solutions above, then you can just either update Resolve to the latest version or roll back to a previous version to see if that would maybe fix your problem. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe.